All right, everyone, I want to show you the art of improving run form and why this is so important. We're ready to launch the Midfoot Project. It starts tomorrow. So if you're interested in getting help, if you want to improve your own form, make sure you go to midfootproject.com. You can start with us tomorrow, uh, April 4th, or you can join and start when you're ready. You do have lifetime. Whoa! A little bit of wind. <laughs> you do have lifetime access to the program. But I want to talk about the, the art of run form because this... I'm going to show you some things that I talk about with runners, and this should help you make sense of why you should learn this style of running, particularly if you struggle with knee pain, you go out for runs and you're like really sore. Um, so it really comes down to foot placement and where your center of mass is and knee position. So those couple things or a few things. So the way that most runners run is when they come through, hopefully you can hear me, this leg will push off and they'll swing it through. And then when they get to this point, they continue to let this leg swing and lock. And when that leg locks, it turns into like a battering ram, I call it, and it loses all its ability to shock absorb. So it gets really stiff, and then when, it, when you hit the ground, it's all bone on bone. So you'll come through, swing this leg through, lock it, and then when you're pushing off on this other side, you're, you land onto this really hard, rigid lever, and you lose any ability to shock absorb. So if you just watch for a second, if I jump through, it... it the foot slaps down, the leg almost comes into a batting ram, the ground's gonna push up into my body and it jacks me backwards. But unfortunately, this is how most people run. Like, if you have a race photo and you see this, like with this back leg could be up or it could be down, but you see this kind of posturing on your race photos, you're, you're a culprit of this. And this is what happens when you try to do this outside and it's a little tad bit windy. Uh, it's probably not the only time that's gonna happen, but whatever. So. What I, wanted, what I want you guys to realize and try is to, that leg swinging out is the issue. And when we do the midfoot project, we really focus on fixing that, improving that, but it's all about slowing that swing down. You have to be able to take that leg and as it comes through, slow the swing and get yourself to land on a soft, nice, flat foot uh, with a soft knee. So let me show you that. So when this leg comes through, it's gonna swing through, come through, you have to teach your body that as this is swinging through, you have to almost learn to let it pause and hang so that you can come through on your stride. And then this is really where you want to land. You're never going to land. A lot of people think they need to land underneath their center of mass. You're never going to land there. You're going to have to land out front. But this leg, this front leg makes all the difference because if you can land in a position where it's bent, it's going to allow you to hit and load into your stride versus this, which you can see, this is just a really long lever jamming up into your body so this is injury this is slowing you down because you can't push and get over that leg it's almost like you have to catapult over the front leg when you run that way um little breeze expecting the phone to fall down i should count it down and see if i can nail it so what i want you to think about in your own form is first when you learn to swing this through and you learn to bring it down and land with a nice soft knee in a flex position <laughs> i'm gonna put it down here for now well, I'll just hold on to it. When you learn to land that way, stupid wind. Uh, when you learn to land that way, it's going to be a couple things. First of all, it's going to be awkward and it's going to feel uncomfortable. Um, and it, that's normal. That's completely normal. A lot of people see the smiling face come through because it just landed. Um, but when you're changing your form and you're going to learn how to stop that full extension, that full extension of the leg, you, you should expect to feel slower. Um, uncoordinated more difficult but it's just because you're rewiring bad habits let's try this you can see this beautiful sky behind me so from the front view we don't want that what we actually want is this position with the leg and that is your shock absorber but look at the back leg here when I push off from this leg it's gonna allow me to come up and over that when I push off and I have this leg watch me lift my back leg like you're falling backwards. All your weight is behind your contact point with the straight leg so you can't catch and get yourself over it. So we wanna see that when you come through in your stride, this leg swings through and you land in that soft knee position. I'm telling you guys, like if you struggle, you go out for runs and you're like, I just feel like I'm getting beat up. I feel like I'm uncomfortable, my, leg, my joints hurt. Um, 
this is one of the best things you can do to improve your run form. Like there's a lot of things to work on, but working on that foot strike that I just showed you where you can stop that swing, put it down nice and flat, that is the first starting point for anything run form. And a lot of people work on too many things at once. You have to just focus on one thing. And that is, the, again, the place to start. I'm repeating myself. Thrown off with the phone falling down five times from the wind. But um, give it a try. Go out on your next run or today when you go out for your run. And just see if you can master a little bit of a midfoot strike. I always recommend 30 to 60 seconds to start of every mile you run and build it up from there. But when you do start working on this, you have to stretch. You do have to... Um, work what we call friends and helpers which is like your glutes and your core so there's a lot of exercises and drills that really make a difference with this and but it's time to start there's no like there's no reason not to start working on your form so if you want some help be sure to check out uh, midfootproject.com registration closes today you can sign up and start late it's not an issue you do have lifetime access to the program but uh it's definitely worth it and i hope i can see you guys join us in the program we get started tomorrow super excited all right everyone i gotta go finish this run and uh make sure my phone's okay bye